French aircraft manufacturer Dassault Aviation has started talks with Reliance Defence, for buying out the stake of Reliance Defence in their joint venture Dassault Reliance Aerospace Limited, since further expansion of the joint venture facility is on hold, owing to the inability of Reliance Defence to infuse more money into the project. Dassault Aviation currently owns a 49% stake in the joint venture, while 51% stake is held by Reliance Defence, and since India allows 100% foreign direct investment on a case-to-case -case basis, Dassault Aviation is hoping that clearances would come in to hold complete stake. Dassault Aviation was initially scouting for another possible Indian partner, and Tata Group emerged as a potential replacement partner, but Dassault Aviation has now decided to go alone, as the Tata Group already has a successful joint venture with Lockheed Martin known as the Tata Lockheed Martin Aerostructures Limited, under which it has offered the F-21 to the Indian Air Force. Vietnam has shown keen interest in acquiring next-generation missile vessels designed by Cochin Shipyard Limited. The shipyard has already secured a significant 9,805 crore rupees contract from the Indian Navy to construct six next-generation missile vessels, and the delivery of these advanced vessels will start in 2027. These advanced vessels are specifically designed to carry out maritime strike operations and anti-surface warfare operations. The project director of Indo-Russian Rifles Private Limited has said, that by the end of December 2024, a staggering 70,000 units of the AK-203 rifles will be produced at the facility, and the projected demand from Indian Armed Forces and Paramilitary Forces is expected to reach a staggering 30 lakh units. He also added, that the AK-203 rifle has attracted considerable interest from numerous African and Southeast Asian countries, and many nations are eager to acquire this rifle. Safran has signed an agreement with Hindustan Aeronautics to hand over the complete transfer of technology for the Shakti engine that powers the Dhruv Rudra and Prachand helicopters. All the components and subsystems of the engine will now be manufactured domestically within the country, and Safran will soon provide the necessary transfer of technology for the remaining portion which was previously handled by them. Safran Helicopter Engines and Hindustan Aeronautics have announced, that they will establish their new joint venture company in Bengaluru, which will be dedicated to the design development production sales and support of engines for Indian multi-role helicopter and deck-based multi-role helicopter. The detailed project report for the Indian multi-role helicopter program is expected to be submitted next month for approval from the Cabinet Committee on Security, and the project's sanction is expected by early 2024. Asok Leyland has won a 800 crore rupees order from the Indian Army, that includes procurement of the field artillery tractor and the 6x6 gun towing vehicle, that are employed by the artillery for towing light and medium guns. Asok Leyland has said that it will complete vehicle deliveries over the next 12 months. Mazagin Dock Ship Builders Limited will start construction work on the three additional Calvary class submarines around 18 months after the contract is signed, and the first submarine is anticipated to be rolled out by 2029. Officials also said that the integration of the DRDO developed AIP module will be installed on the lead submarine INS Calvary from mid 2024 onwards, that will be completed by mid 2026 followed by remaining five Calvary-class submarines.